To some other news, a British Columbia city has been named Canada's most romantic for the fifth year in a row. This is according to a new Amazon.ca ranking that compared sales data from January 1, 2016 to January 1, 2017. Now, the data looks at sales of romance novels, romantic comedies, jewelry, and sexual wellness products. Joining me now is the mayor of Victoria, Lisa Helps, the mayor of North Bay, Al McDonald, and the Bayer, mayor of Newmarket, Ontario, Tony Van Bynen. Good morning. Thanks, all of you, for being with us. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. Day. Same to you. And we're certainly getting in the spirit, aren't we? So, Mayor Helps, to you first. We begin with you because your city, for the fifth time, Victoria, has topped the list of those cities that are the most romantic. What makes it so? Uh, well, it's paradise here. Uh, for those of you who have been, you'll know that. For those who haven't, uh, we've got a gorgeous waterfront, uh, an amazing downtown. I think more restaurants, coffee shops, and great places to have a beer or a glass of wine uh, per capita than anywhere else in Canada. So it's certainly, uh, it lends itself to romance. Okay, so you're at the top of the list. Mayor Van Bynen, we have to talk. New market yes. slid. <laughs> to number 20, what's going on? What are you gonna do to make the city more romantic? First, let me say we love being on the list. We love having been made the top 20. Um, actually, we're really excited about this. Uh, it's uh, New Market uh, has been focusing on gathering places. Our Riverwalk Commons has been a recent addition. We've actually developed a, a new concept called the Story Pod, where people can sit down and, and have a conversation and. Uh, and exchange books. Uh, and of course, we've had lots of great restaurants. And in fact, New Market's Main Street was uh, nominated independently as the best Main Street in Canada. So a lot of these things are adding up for us. What are we going to do go forward? Well, we're going to find uh, resting places and breathing spaces in our, in our commercial areas where people can sit down and have a conversation. We have Wi-Fi all over the place so you can have some dialogue. We have one of uh, Ontario's first sofa benches where you can sit down and charge your cell phone while you have a conversation and, and take the benefit of solar power. Uh, so for us, it's gathering places, more gathering places. We've just renovated our new town hall. We've had a lot of great shows. Uh, and one of our one of our pride and joys is Brain Power Studios, and they're going to be doing the Harlequin, Harlequin publishing romance novels, oh. and there'll be five of those filmed in Newmarket. So we'll be even more romantic -er next year. Victoria, I think you have some competition coming up. We on your do. Heels. I love. Yeah, I love the story pod idea. That's great. I like the free Wi-Fi for all those people that want to go online and maybe have a hookup. Okay, so Mayor McDonald, North Bay was number 15. Uh, I lived and worked in North Bay for a short time. It was awfully cold. I'm wondering if that perhaps adds to the to the romance factor. Well, I wasn't going to go with the cold thing. Um, <laughs> to be honest, get cozy, you know. <laughs> You know the the fires. Uh, it's it's absolutely the landscape, but uh, uh, you know not to go on about because um, I think Lisa and Tony made some really good points, and they they live in beautiful cities. I, I for our perspective, it's really uh, we really promote a healthy, active lifestyle and uh, healthy relationships. So I think that's really coming through in this report. It's it's definitely a cute story, but yeah, I was going to stay away from the cold nights. <laughs> but come on, that has to be <laughs> contributing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was uh, joking that we have park benches all over the waterfront that is kind of out of the way too, but uh, uh, you know, it, it's definitely the landscape, the lake. We might not have the love boat, but we have the chief commander. And you have those shad flies every year too. <laughs> One thing I can say, Al, as well, is that we were in North Bay and my second daughter was born there, so there must have been some romance up there as well. There's the connection. Excellent. Well, well I, I was going to reach out to Lisa to find out what her secret was because five years in a row, they're absolutely doing something right. It's true. Well, Fair you know, house. interestingly, one of the things that just struck me during this conversation is we were also rated for the second year in a row this year the best place to be a woman in Canada. So the best place to be a woman, the most romantic. Maybe there's a connection there. I'm not sure. Fellas, yeah. she's she's kicking butt. I guess here. I'm laying down the gauntlet, <laughs> aren't I? Are women more romantic than men? I don't know. You tell me. We'll let the gentleman I, I weigh think in. So. 
Yeah, I, I think they're more. You think so? They're, they're caring, they're nourishing, and and uh, and I think they're they they build on emotion, and they they can relate and communicate much better than some of us. The uh, I, I speak with a thirty-five year banking experience, and 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 reaching out and being sensitive wasn't necessarily a strong suit in that business. Well, you've all done a fabulous job of selling your cities, uh, no matter where you rank on the list. We all want to join or visit them now. And Mayor Helps, we hope to see you back here next year at number one. Mayor Van Vaughn, and you've got a little work to do ahead, but we'll revisit this. And Wait till, wait till you see the movies. We will be romantic. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mayor Helps, Mayor McDonald, Mayor Van Vinen, thank you so much for being part of this conversation today. It was fun. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.